Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? Guys, I have a problem, and the obvious solution for one of this problem is if the writing wasn't so coherent to use the weakness of its main character against it, it would be a whole different show, man. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, Dai is a kid. This is a boy. So, by being a boy, he has these mentalities to just come out and go full out without understanding anything about his opponent. And now here he is in a position where... He can't even um, really do anything about this new transformation with how much power he's already expelled. Not only did he use techniques we haven't seen him use since he's actually uh, since he's met his father, we've never seen him use a crest beam. So we don't know if he could even shoot one that is the same potency as his father once he tries it. That one right there. If it's as strong, which I mean, I guess we should just say it is. Um, it's been a while since that battle. Have they fully recovered, you know, because even in the train, uh, excuse me, even in the training, I feel as if that is the problem with how they gave us the information at hand uh, that Dai expended so much stamina uh, so quickly, and that was, what, just before they actually went out, so, if you think about it, he randomly used enough energy to block Crocodile's strongest move with his Dragon Aura, and now here he is fighting someone who supposedly is on level with the Dragon Knight Baron, uh, Baron, or the Father, if not maybe stronger, seeing how Dai's power was rivaling his father's, or at least tying it, they have all the right to believe that they should be able to destroy Dragon Knights because of just Dai being not in a Dragonoid form fighting with his father. Seems kind of weird now. Like, maybe what uh, some people were saying isn't true, as if... Um, I think he was holding back because he was his son. Like, he did have killer intent towards the maybe the very, very end. Um, but I feel like he might actually have been holding back even longer than they give him credit for, which was kind of cool. Because um, there's no way if, uh, if his father was in the same position to fight this person... Unless it's just that, like, that's just it. Like, it's that much powerful. It literally is stronger than the father and him. Then okay, I accept. Because guess what? That just means the father and die are going to get stronger some way, somehow. And that isn't good. <laughs> that's never good for the bad guys in this show. Literally, you're just giving them ways to find... Uh, higher leaps like that's not what you want <laughs> but it is what we want as fans so give it to them um, but it looks like I'm going to see quite a bit of this show and I'm looking forward to it because a lot of these shows nowadays are always going to be 12 episodes just for you know scheduling reasons just for uh, you know creativity reasons and ownership whatever the case is I am so happy there's still shows out here that can do long-running, continuous episodes. And it's funny that it's still the the kings or queens of doing that, being Toei, who has one of the most longest-running shows ever. So, with that being said, take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.